glasses. It's Mr. K out in the garage once again. And today for art, we're going to do one of those things that when you think of art, you what do you probably think of? Drawing is one of the first things people would say. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to do some drawing. All you're going to need is some paper. I have a sketch pad. You don't have to have a sketch pad. You just have any old piece of paper. If it's just a plain white piece of paper, that's great. If all you have is lined paper, that's okay too. That's not a problem. It actually looks pretty cool. You can get a pen, pencil, whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to draw in pen just so you guys can see a little more easily. That's all you're going to need, except you're going to need something to draw. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a type of drawing called contour drawing. So before we get too into this, let's talk about what our standards and objective are for the day. Our standard for the day is anchor standard number one. We're going to generate and conceptualize artistic ideas and work. And our objective for the day is to create contour sketches of multiple objects for at least half an hour. So when I say we need some stuff, we need just anything that we can set in front of us and draw for a while that's going to sit still. Or maybe some things that won't sit still later on. We're going to start though with some things that won't go anywhere. Maybe you get a shoe. Maybe you get, I found a leaf outside. It doesn't have to be a very big leaf. It's a little hard to find leaves this time of year, so do what you can if that's what you want to do. You can just get a, another piece of paper and crumple it up. This gives us lots of interesting lines and shapes and stuff to draw. So what we want to do is we want to look for those, we want to look for those edges on the thing that we're going to draw. And we want to trace around that. Because what we want to do is we want to really see these things that we're drawing. Not just say, oh, I know what a leaf looks like, and just draw what you think it looks like. We want to draw what's actually here. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a leaf here on the table, and this is what it's going to look like to me from where I'm sitting while I'm drawing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to draw the outside contour of the leaf. If we say, oh, draw a leaf, a lot of people will say, okay, there. That's a leaf. They got the little lines coming through. That's pretty much what a leaf looks like. You're right. That's, but that's kind of what we would call a symbol for a leaf. What we want to do is actually look at what this leaf looks like. I'm going to start down here at the bottom right by the, the uh, stem of the leaf. And I'm noticing... It's hard to do this while I talk, but I'm going to try. It's got a little bit of a kind of a bulb at the bottom. I'm just going to try to go right around. Now this part kind of goes up a little bit before it curves. And this curves up and around. It's a little wavy on this part. Now I'm looking more at the leaf than I am at my drawing right now. The actual output of your drawing, what it really looks like, is really less important right now than just training your eye. It's got a little dip at the top, just right there. Training your eye to really see what you're looking at. And this is going to curve all the way down here. Kind of flattens out a little bit. Curves up and flattens, and it comes down around here. And this is going to curve way up into a little bit of a fold. Come right back down and around. That's a little bit what the outside shape looks like. Now this, I can draw the contour of this stem going up the back of it here. I'm not worried so much about shading and stuff like that. This is going to curve kind of out and then sort of up. And come back down. Now this is the hardest part of drawing is to really look. You really want to spend 
because people look at their drawing all the time. They don't really look at what it is that they're drawing. Uh, so this is very thin back in here. It gets a whole lot thicker coming through here. I'm not gonna worry about the shadows. I'm not gonna worry about shading. Just gonna come right up in here. I, horrible thing that I have to admit, even though I'm an art teacher, when I'm doing my own artwork, I'm not generally drawing things that are right in front of me. I'm coming up with things out of my own mind. And particular thing, I do a lot of uh, artwork that involves words. So I'm not generally drawing things. So this is kind of different for me, it'll be honest with you. And it's really fun. I need to do this more often. So it's got this little lip coming around. It kind of curved up. Bring it down here. Now, I'm drawing a leaf. Do you have to draw a leaf? No, you can draw anything you want to. Anything you have around is totally fine. So I could just draw the outside shapes of that. I could go in and do some of the leaves if I want. There's lots of things you could set in front of you. It could be, like I say, a leaf, piece of paper. Dogs and cats are great, especially, especially cats because they sleep so much and they just lay there. That's perfect if you can get your cat to just stay there. My dog likes to lay outside in the sun. Let me see if I can go find Lily. <laughs> and maybe I'll draw Lily for a bit. So there's tons of things you can... All right, so I'm going to try to draw this chair. I'm going to try to film myself while I draw it with one hand. So this could get a little tricky. But what I want to do is just kind of look at where does everything match up? How tall is it? How... Uh, it's, so it just barely kind of comes in at the top. Goes straight down. These don't have to be perfectly... Well, perfect. And see it come all the way down. It's a little tricky because it has that curve that comes towards me and it all looks just kind of straight. It's hard to really get a sense of it comes in this way a little tiny bit and it comes down at the bottom. And you don't have to make yours quite this big. I'm trying to make it big so you guys can see it. They could be tiny, they could be like this big and a couple inches tall and that's totally fine. Come across the top, and now it's going to have a bit more of a curve to it on this end. And come straight down. Now at the bottom over here, I can really see it. Oops, I missed. Curve out. It's got a bit of an angle to it, and then down. I got that little, that little thing at the bottom there. It's gonna something that'll really help your drawing is if you're concentrating and not talking. Unlike me right now. Oops, sorry. It's really hard to do while you're filming yourself and talking. So I'm not going to worry about all the little lines and the, the what you might call it in the fabric there. So right where that curve is, it's going to just above that is where the arm comes up and it kind of flattens and then comes out this way. Now if I go back down here and take a look. It's going to be right about there on the inside of it, and the outside of it's going to come past. So I can see where things line up, and that's going to do that, and this is going to come up. Now this is kind of funny because this goes here, but the inside of it is actually down here. And that's what comes up and around there. So it gets a little tricky with some of this stuff sometimes. That's going to come down a ways. Got one of those excuse me lines. 
this little curve at the bottom. And then over here, we, so it's gonna kind of line up straight across from there. So you gotta see where do these things, where do they match? Where do you, uh, so it's gonna kind of come right down next to this. Kind of see in here a little bit where it, it connects. I'm sitting like perfectly in, whoops, I missed. I'm sitting perfectly in front of it. So it looks I'm straight on to that, that arm. Same thing's happening down here, kind of underneath. So I got this. Looks like it's coming straight down. I think I may have gone too far. That's okay. As you can see it back behind, it ends about the middle of the chair. It's really hard to see in the shadows there. It's very dark. You can't see the whole leg. It's going to come up and bring this down. And this is going to connect in here. And these are going to, in an angle, So that's my chair. I can't see that back leg. I could put the shadows in and just kind of draw the outline of these shadows. And it's going to come down this way. And up the seat, kind of round over to here. And there's some shadows from the tree, but that's making it a little difficult. I can just put a little bit of some lines in here. And I've got a chair. Now, these are just exercises. So don't, don't beat yourself up over it not looking exactly like a photograph of the chair. That's not too bad. I, I'm, I, you know what, I'm, I'm looking at this and this part could probably come out further. That's okay. It's all right. I can add this little edge of the metal part. That could come in there. Let me get a few little more details in there. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like a chair. Try maybe a different angle. Try a few things out. And I'm still looking for Lily. She's got a She's gotta go lay down. Oh, she's going away. And I'll try to get her later. So it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. It could just be something like a cup. I'm still waiting for Lily out there. So the top of it is circular, but it doesn't mean that it's a total circle. It's more of an oval, and it's got this little lid thingy fits in there, comes down this way, and the hinge part comes in angled this direction, a bit of, excuse me, line happening. It's a little thick, so you make it tall there. I don't have to draw the whole line. There's a little extra part there that sticks out. It's so tricky with it being clear.
I start to go way down. I don't have to push hard, too. Few little lines. Get that cut in, come back down. Part of it kind of dips around, and there's a bit of a shadow on the table. That shadow comes from the bottom. I just give it an idea of a shadow. I have to draw the whole thing. Half of it's going to have shadow, but I don't need to draw all of it. I've just got a good start on it here. Just get a few sketches, a few lines in there. That's all you really need. So she's laying down right outside the garage door here. She moves though. So it's difficult to draw her. So I'm gonna try to just do it quickly. So this is okay. You can just draw. There's a great artist who unfortunately just recently passed away. His name is Jason Poland. And if you get a chance, I'm gonna try to see if I can. I don't know if I'm allowed to or not. I'll see if I can put his website has a blog and his whole thing was he was trying to draw every person in New York City which is kind of impossible but it was a fun project she's got some hair going up there she's got her little collar there's some hairs just cutting up here some down here and Backside kind of curves around. I don't want to spend too much time on any one part of her leg. Yes, it's hard to see there. I'll just show you the picture. Her leg isn't moving a whole lot, so this is good. Toes, paw kind of curls down. She's got the little pads in the bottom there. She usually lays all the way in the sun, but today she's just kind of part way there. Hard to see through the little door. I have this little, it's like a baby door because I have my big garage door open. And if I leave this open, oops, I'm missing the picture. If I leave this open, she could just get out and run away. So I can't, I can't do that. I'm trying to look through that. I don't want to draw the door too right now. That's a whole nother level of complexity. So let's get that tail. Her tail coming down here. It's actually sticking out right kind of past her foot. I make that heavier because I want to want to emphasize it a little bit more. Bring it down here and make it look like it's so if something's something's in front, you can make it a little darker. That kind of emphasizes it more. And now she turned her head better. can just draw a few little lines to show some hairs. I'm going to redo her ear. That's one thing about that Jason Poland guy I was talking about. He would draw the same thing over the top of a person several times. So he's got like three or four versions of them. A little nose there. No, she just left. She's walking away. That's not bad. There's something going on here with the ear, but you know, if I'd have done this in pencil, I could redo that. So, that's not bad. And that took all of about mm, 
three minutes. So yeah, don't feel like you have to spend a half hour doing one drawing. Do a whole bunch of really quick one, two minute, 30 second drawings, tiny little drawing, maybe just a tiny little thing. You know, you could have an eraser or a, you know, a pencil or just, you know, one thing that's great to draw is your hand. You know, put your hand in a certain position and just draw all of the little creases in your knuckles and your you know the lines around your thumb any little thing you can draw make as many little tiny quick sketches as you can and really 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 focus on what is it that you're seeing what is that you know it, it's not just a circle it's kind of an oval you know if you get if you have the cup higher up you're gonna see more of a shape like this. If you're looking straight down at the top, it's gonna to look like a circle at the top. So it changes depending on where you're sitting. So really look at what it is that you're drawing. So I drew a couple more things, including after I did the cup and the dog, I had like a dry erase board eraser sitting around that I was drawing a little bit and I have that piece of paper that was crumpled up. Now, if you didn't know that I was drawing a crumpled piece of paper, you probably wouldn't be able to tell what the heck this thing is. But you know what? That's okay because it's more about, you know, where are these shapes? What is this coming down here? It makes this kind of little tr weird triangle shape that I'm trying to recreate here where I was sitting before I could see that little part sticking out. I've got the little part sticking out here. It kind of comes up, it comes up over here. That's what's more important. Training your eye to not think about paper, which if you said, oh, it's paper, if it's crumpled up paper, I would just do this, right? But that doesn't look like this. Now, does this mean that every time you draw something, it has to look exactly like it? No, of course not. But if you want to, this is a, this is the, kind of the, the frame of mind you need to get into to do these things. It's looking at where are the, the creases, where are the edges, where are the folds, where does the form go to? Train your eye to do that. Do it over and over and over and over again and it starts to get a little easier. Don't get too discouraged. If you feel like, wow, this is really hard. I can't do this. This doesn't look like a picture. It's going to take a really long time for it to actually start to look like something, and that's okay. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a very simple process. That doesn't mean that it's easy. Simple and easy are totally different things. Easy means you can just do it and it's no problem and it's super basic and you just without your eyes closed you can totally do it e uh, simple rather means there's not that many steps the main thing that's hard to do that's very simple thing to think about though is looking at the shapes trick your you gotta your, your mind has been tricking you all these years oh a hand you got five things that stick out Look at the line. Where does it curve to? Where does the where does the dog's paw go? How far away from the tail is it? On the you know piece of paper, where is each little edge? Don't think paper. Don't think about the thing. Think about the shapes. Think about how they line up with each other. This one's at the top, and this one's about halfway. It's even with this one over here. Those sorts of things. If you can train yourself to think that way, you can draw anything. And let yourself make some mistakes and don't feel like it has to look like a photograph. It has to look like you're drawing, okay? Yeah, I'll just put that Jason Polin uh, stuff up there so you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about with him. He does really quick one, two minute drawings of people, things, whatever it is, but he's fast and just sometimes a little line gives you the idea of something and that's all it takes sometimes. Play around with it. For paper, I found my new friend is Dollar Tree. This is not an ad for Dollar Tree, but they have these, these 
sketchbooks. A sketchbook with 40 sheets of paper in it for a dollar. I start feeling like, hey, I can, I can draw anything I want to in here, and if it's no good, who cares? The whole thing cost me a dollar. I don't know about you, but I've had some sketchbooks where it's like, oh, I got this from the art store. It's really nice. I don't want to mess up. Then I start, and guess what? That's when you mess up. So loosen up a little bit. The back of old homework assignments that you maybe were going to throw away, maybe you got them you know, piling up on a desk or you know, under your bed or something, if you're like my son, and turn them over, use, staple them all together, make a notebook out of those old pieces of paper. Yeah, whatever you want to do, however you want to do it, just loosen up, make some drawings that don't, you don't have to show them to anybody. And, and just kind of, you know, see which ones work. So free it up, loosen up, be nice to yourself, don't don't judge <laughs> and have some fun look for those shapes and i will see you next week in our zoom meeting take care bye